Hello Sleekers, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness and if you're watching this video then I'm going to assume congratulations is in order because you are either here because you're now pregnant or maybe you've just had your little one. So I'm here to talk about Baby Sleek. It is our pre and postnatal workout series that you can find over on the Sleek Ballet Fitness app. Um, it was something that was created by Victoria and I when we were pregnant with our first baby boys. Um, although we didn't know they were going to be baby boys. Um, we actually gave birth just four weeks apart for our first children. So it was certainly um, a really interesting time, both going through our pregnancies almost simultaneously. That's why we created a series of nine workouts that you can take from the beginning of your pregnancy at first trimester, once you've got that all clear, right through to postpartum, till your body feels as strong and as fit as it did before you gave birth. So the series of nine workouts ranges from upper body to lower body to gentle cardio to flowing and floor work for a full total body experience. But today in this workout, we're going to take a section from the classical cardio and the mat relax section, put them together for a little mini workout taster, give you an idea of what it's all about. So we're going to start in our first position, heels together, toes apart and take a series of demi-plies, increasing the height of the arm. So we're demi-plie one, to draw your legs back up together, reach the arms a little higher. So we're gently raising the heart rate here and starting to warm up through the lower body and upper body. Let's take two more sets. So everything in the Baby Sleek series is designed for you specifically to keep your body healthy and keep it safe throughout each trimester of your pregnancy one last time. So there is nothing in here that should feel uncomfortable for you or baby, but of course listen to your body. And then let's take a rise. We're going to lift our heels, test our balance, depending where you are in your pregnancy. Later stages, this is more tricky. Let's lower down. Let's do the same thing in second position here. So we are wanting to feel comfortable throughout your workouts. Wear comfortable clothing and lengthen. And as I say, listen to your body. Sliding down a wall behind you, gently keeping the knees back. You don't have to go too low into this plie. And engage in the pelvic floor as we pull up and lift. Let's take one more set like this as we plie. Good, listen to your body and enjoy getting it moving to keep it fit and strong. It helps with your recovery after baby arrives and then lift those heels, take the arms to fifth, open all the way out, lower, let's come back into our first position, hands to your waist, we're going to slide the toe away, take a plie back to second, close into first, again out, take a plie, press, close into first, take it out, Take your plie, now this one's going to close on plie and press those toes up to the side of your knee, lower down, lift, this is retire passe, let's go back, one, and plie and press. So we want to get that heart rate up a little bit, so we're moving just a fraction faster now, out, plie lift, and onto your plie to lift the toes, let's add some arms and move a little quicker, take them to first. Open wide, leave them on your waist to keep a firm one. Open wide and close and side. Open wide, now elbows draw in and lift them up to that open fifth. Up to the open fifth and side. Plie and press and close, take it side. Plie and press and close one more time. Plie and press and down. Can we do a final set with a little more speed on one? Plie. Press and close up to first. Open second. Hand close one more time. Plie lift. Press down and float. And float. Good one. Heart rate should be gently up now. Side. Squeeze, press. And close one more. Squeeze, lift. And press. Draws you up. Draws you up. And plie. Take a breath. And let's come down to our mats. Sitting with our heels and toes together, knees gently apart, fingertips behind you. Just lifting breastbone to the ceiling, gently drawing the tummy in, allow some weight to be in your fingers. 
And then if you need to send your heels a little further away, give them a wiggle. Bottom goes back, see if you can take hold of your ankles. Draw yourself up and then relax into your tummy, bump goes forward. And if you're postpartum, draw the navel through to the spine. And just gently looking down towards your heels. Taking breaths in and breaths out. Rolling yourself up, extending one leg out a second and draw one leg in towards you. Sitting up nice and tall, take these arms to second and then sliding the hand down onto the inside of that leg. Arm comes up and you're going gazing up past your elbow, rounding the arm, no straight elbows. Open through the side body, lengthen to the inside thigh, draw yourselves up. We're going to square off to this leg. So you just want to gently draw that leg in front of you and square your shoulders over your hips, taking your arms to fifth. Now again, depending where you are in your pregnancy, you may want to take that body over that front leg or if bump is getting a little bit sizable, just take your angle slightly towards the inside. So we're still lying forwards over the leg, but we've gone into the space between the knee and the ankle. If you feel bump isn't getting in the way, or if you are postpartum, you can take the stretch directly over the front leg. Breathe. Draw yourselves up. Have a moment to find fifth, just engaging the core. And lower down, draw that knee back in towards you. Soles of the feet together. And let's take that lift up and curve over, feeling one more time. Relaxing here into the hips, but no pushing into any pain or discomfort. And no need to send those knees any further down towards the mat than needed. So the hormones in our bodies when we're pregnant allow our bodies to feel a little bit more supple, a little bit more open in preparation for birth, and that stays with us a little longer after we've given birth. So we don't want to push and overstretch into our muscles or overwork into our joints. So again, we're going to start by sliding the hand down, reaching up and over. So you can try the four bundle of baby sleep exercises if you're on our sleep technique site, or you have an option to get all nine, or if you're an app member, at Sleep Early Fitness, then the whole series is already on there for you to enjoy. Turn and face your leg, shoulders over hips, lift the arms and reach over. And again, you have the option to go towards the knee or come into that little bit of space between your knee and ankle. So these are the workouts that help Victoria and I stay fit, active, and healthy throughout our pregnancy, and that helped us, lifting all the way back up, to get back into good shape after we'd had our babies. Okay, sitting cross-legged. So those of you that now need to take a little bit of a rest, I suggest you lie down onto your side, and if you've got a pillow, simply draw a pillow between your knees, give your hips some space, and just take a minute just to breathe and have that time to recover. I hope you come and join us for the rest of the Baby Sleep series at sleepballetfitness.com. Like I say, they're all available, all nine workouts. They really are exactly what Victoria and I use throughout our pregnancies and afterwards. So if you have any questions, comments, please write them below. If you like this video, click like. And if you want more, come and join us at sleepballetfitness.com. Take care and have a great pregnancy.